there are a couple other things that you're going to need. Uh, number one is going to be a bear hang, okay, so or some type of rope, all right, to hang your food at night. You do not want any food in your tent or in your camp at night, okay, because you are in the wilderness. There are animals in the wilderness and they are attracted to food, okay, so we want to keep the food away from where we're sleeping. All right, so one of the reasons for that, we never want to cook in our tent. All right, so I have my bear hang, but I also have a cook tarp, okay, which would back up if I ever had to use it as a backup, could use it as a sleeping tarp if I needed to, too. I tried not to. This would be only an emergency. All right, you don't want any food smells where you're cooking. All right, so when you set your camp up, okay, which will be another video, all right, you want to set your, 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 um, your kitchen, all right, far enough away from your tent so if any of our animals are attracted to there, you can scare them away. They're not right there. Okay. All right. So we got our bear hang, our cook tarp. All right. Next up, just a couple little things. All right. Hey, GPS is great, all right, but it fails. All right. So even if you have the best GPS, Garmin, whatever in the world, okay, you're still going to not want to bring one of these. All right. And this has happened to me. I've been where GPS just stopped working. The canopy was so thick, all right, it wouldn't work. All right, so you're going to want to bring a map. This is my Appalachian Trail set maps. Okay, you can see real long. Okay, and a compass. And you, if you don't know how to use it, you're going to want to learn how to use it. All right, now if you're going somewhere that is, you know, really not out in the middle of nowhere, okay, is close to civilization, okay, maybe you can get away without that. All right, but if you're going anywhere remote, all right, you're going to want to use this. All right, last couple things. You're going to want a first aid kit. Always have some type of first aid kit that's going to meet your needs of what you need. All right, some type of multi-tool, okay, or small knife. You do not need a giant survival knife, okay. Again, extra weight, and it's just unnecessary. You're going to want a headlamp, okay. You're going to want, what I suggest is trekking poles, okay. These poles fold out, okay, and you're going to use them as, as a, uh, for balance, all right. People who use uh, trekking poles have 80% less falls, all right, than people who don't, all right, and it just gives you that extra little point of contact on the ground. Okay, uh, one other thing I like to bring, I, it is a little big, it's a little heavy, not necessary, but I can't go without it, is a camp chair. Okay, I like to have my camp chair at night. One uh, other thing that you are going to need, all right, and this isn't the most pleasant thing, but we all got to go to the bathroom. Okay, so one thing you'll need, there are no porta potties out on a trail, okay, is some type of shovel or trowel, okay. Um, you can use toilet paper, you can use leaves, moss whatever you need, all right, but you do want to bury your waste, okay, so animals can't get to it, all right, and then the last thing I don't want to talk about is just clothes, okay, with your clothes, you're going to want some type of moisture wicking shirt or pants, okay, you're going to want uh, good hiking boots, all right, and wool socks, all right, you're going to want an insulating layer, and then you're going to want some type of windbreaking layer and a hat, okay, so next up, we got to put all of this in that bag. All right, but that's another video.